Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. It's an important story. Um, very often I get to work with people who work in healthcare. For uh, quite a period of time, a good period of time, I got to work with critical care nurses. And I got to dive into who they are and what they do and how they do it. Critical care nurses and people in healthcare often suffer from burnout, but it's not the kind of burnout that most people get from just going to their job day in and day out. Most people burn out from doing the job. They're just sick of doing it and they're like, tired of my job. In healthcare, the burnout is called compassion fatigue. And they burn out not because they don't care, but they burn out because they care so much. Compassion fatigue is a very, very real thing. And those who care about what they're doing and how they do it, they can burn out. Recently, I was talking to my friend and mentor, Deacon Patty Rhodes, and I asked her, do you ever burn out? Deacon Patty is not only a deacon in our church, but she serves in um, an assisted living facility here. She said, oh, sure, I burn out. I said, so you get compassion fatigue? She said, oh yes. You can care so much and feel like you're not doing all that you can do. I said, well, what do you do when you get that? She said, I have to do something creative. When I do something creative, it sparks the creative in me and connects me back to my compassion and caring. Wow, I thought about that. And I realized that by being creative, you're reconnecting to the source, the creator, and it's giving you back the energy and the drive that you need that takes you away, that, that you've lost, taking you away from your purpose, your passion, your willingness to serve. It's a, an amazing way of looking at healthcare providers and anybody who cares so much about the well-being of the people that they serve, that they would care too much, care so much that it burns them out. When you're feeling that, find something creative. Tap into the creative thing that's in you. Tap into your ability to take something and turn it into something new and allow that to renew you so that when you go back to the thing that it is you have to do, it renews you and restores you. In the meantime, while COVID is surging again, make sure you say a word of prayer or send a thought of love. Do a meditation centered on the healthcare providers, those who are on the front line, and do it for the educators who are also on the front line caring for all of our children. I love you.